Bloodborne. You must play more Bloodborne. Yeah, I do. I need to play more Bloodborne. Oh no, what did I do? Oh shoot. Oh, no. Yeah, I just made a clean enough cut. Oh man. Shoot, how am I gonna clean this up before everyone gets home? Shoot. Oh, let's see here. Oh, my This is not good. Bloodborne. You must play more Bloodborne. Okay, let me just first off to say, first of all, Bloodborne, what an incredible, phenomenal game. Oh my goodness. I was a little bit nervous in terms of hearing about the difficulty. You know, of course, I have, I have Dark Souls and I've got Demon Souls, but man, what a great game. Guys, let me ask you something. Has there ever been a book or video game, or movie, or a show, or a CD, music CD that you've played, you've played multiple times, and then when you're away from that game, or that movie, or that show, you're doing your own thing, and you keep thinking about it, because it was just so wonderful, or so epic, that's what I found with this game, with Bloodborne. Let me tell you guys, throughout this week, I've been really under the weather not feeling my best and unfortunately I've I had to still go into work because my boss was out of town and so I was the only one to get the job done and, but the uh, silver lining was that when I came home I had to you know rest up lie down but I you know I was awake you know there's only so much sleeping I could do and I literally when I got home I would play Bloodborne from when I got home to almost when I went to bed, from just to rest up. So in that way, I am very grateful for this sickness because I had an excuse to play a whole lot of gaming and rest at the same time. And man, what a way to be able to spend these hours. It took me dozens of hours from start to finish to play throughout Bloodborne. Now, as I mentioned, some people are saying, oh man, this game is too difficult. Some some, some of gamers out there are like, oh, it's not that difficult. There's more games out. There's other games that are more difficult. Let me share with you guys a quick story. Now, a lot of games today take you by the hand. They're like, here you go. Here's a nice, you know, do this. It's okay. And some would argue that a lot of the games today are too easy. I'll never forget, years ago, I had a TurboGrafx-16. I had a TurboGrafx, also the CD attachment. One of the CD games, or Super CD games they had, was a game called Exile Wicked Phenomenon. And this was an action RPG. It was brutally, brutally difficult. I couldn't even complete the first level. And what I learned was, is that my character wasn't strong enough. My character wasn't at the right level to progress so I needed to level up my character I needed to gain more experience by taking down the smaller uh, enemies or the, the, the lesser enemies so that I can progress and take down the bigger enemies I learned that also with the Final Fantasy series there was only so far I could get in the Final Fantasy games until I had to go you know what this boss is too difficult I need to go out and start entering some battles and, and drumming up some experience, so to speak, and leveling up my characters. Bloodborne, it's you do not gain experience for defeating enemies. You gain something called blood echoes. And when you defeat these enemies, you'll get these blood echoes. You can then go back and actually purchase, whether it's more vitality or more stamina or more strength, 
and you can level up your character or hunter that way. You can use those blood echoes. Now, here's the interesting twist. A lot of you guys that are familiar with the spiritual successors or this the uh, like uh, demon souls and dark souls, if you lose these, uh, I keep saying souls. If you lose the uh, blood echoes in Bloodborne, um, it goes to zero. Okay, it's not like you defeat enemies, you save and you have that locked in experience. Now, if you lose the blood echoes, you can go back to around the same place that you lost or died. And you can regain your blood echoes and you can go back and, you know, purchase items, you can, you know, and um, purchase weapons and also you can level up your character. You can so but that's kind of an interesting twist. You have to be careful because literally <laughs> There's like death waiting for you around almost every corner. Now, the amazing thing about um, Bloodborne is there are so many areas, huge areas for you to explore. Lots of forks in the road. You're like, well, do I go up this hill? Do I go down this hill? It's really dark. There's freaks around every corner. Okay, now let me just say, guys, there is a huge variety of enemies that you're going to encounter. And the great thing I liked about Bloodborne is just around the time I would be getting comfortable with some of these enemies, I would start to progress, and then they'd throw at me a whole new cast of enemies that were totally different. Some of them were like super freaky or super huge or, or just crazy powerful. And that just really helped with the variety uh, and entertainment with this game, which it was very, very entertaining. So all this with these different areas lead leads up to various boss battles now one way or another as i mentioned it took dozens of hours for me to f defeat the to, to finish the game one way or another the boss is responsible for hours of game time now i didn't realize this at first but i'm entering these boss battles dying you know going like you know what i need to get stronger take out these lesser enemies do some farming or grinding or whatever you want to call it level up my character and finally defeat these bosses and what i learned was is that not all of these bosses um well, let me just put it this way some of these bosses are actually optional now granted some of these bosses you will have to defeat but i thought it was funny some of these just super crazy powerful bosses were optional you didn't necessarily have to play but uh, some of these boss of Virgil are just, they're huge, they're super powerful, and really very rewarding to be able to take down. And you will be handsomely rewarded for taking down these bosses. Now, as far as the gameplay, how does it play? There's a lot of different options. Okay, granted, with this game, there is a lot of swinging, whether it's axe uh, or hammer or blade. There's a variety of shooting weapons. You're going to be rolling, you're going to be pairing, you're going to be running. And it all worked out for the most part very, very well. And I like the part, I know a lot of gamers out there prefer like shooting and pairing. And I just like actually using the two hand, using the axe with both hands and timing it just right. And it was very risky, I granted, but if I could make that connection, that hit, it was very rewarding and it put out a lot of damage. The only thing that was really holding back this super fun action was the occasional frame rate drop. Now, let's talk about the story, okay? Now, this was actually very interesting. Now, granted, this game isn't laid out on the table going, this is what this story's about, this is who you're going to meet. Um, it is very bits and pieces, however, if you want to learn a lot about the story, then you're going to just have to get out there and explore, explore, explore. Now, in the, your exploration, there will be certain characters that you'll meet. And you'll be able to gather certain intel and information on exactly what's going on. But as I mentioned earlier, it is definitely bits and pieces. And what I liked about Bloodborne so much was the level of imagination that it offered to me. Around every corner, there were little details that I thought about. I'm like, hmm, I'm wondering why that was. This is really cool. Like I was looking at all of the different coffins that were chained up. I'm like, hmm, I'm wondering what's in those coffins and why do they have to be chained up? 
Or also, there's many different rooms you'll get to knock on, or homes you'll get to knock on the doors. In some of these rooms, there'll be lots of celebrating, lots of rejoicing and laughing, while on the other hand, there'll be some rooms or homes where they'll be mourning, crying, just having just the worst time ever. And I, I don't know, I just start to think about these things. And uh, just very rewarding. I liked the way that this story is presented on you have to figure out for yourself. And, and for me, at least, it definitely requires a lot of imagination. But it was really, really rewarding. There were, uh, besides the frame rate drops, there were a couple other issues that I had. One being the load times. I mean, the game is on, it requires around uh, 40 gigabytes of space on my uh, hard drive space. Load times, pretty, pretty awful. And also, uh, um, one of the bosses and the, some of the enemies occasionally, if they get you just in the right corner, um, you're trapped and there's nothing really you can do about it. If they're throwing down a huge onslaught, maybe some of you guys can be able to get out of it. Um, and besides that, um, one or two instances, there were, in, there were times when I was kind of like pushed over uh, an area where I was stuck and I wouldn't be able to get out but overall it wasn't game breaking and it wasn't like it was happening all the time it was overall a very very fun and enjoyable experience that i just cannot recommend enough to you guys so guys overall i really cannot recommend this game enough now granted a lot of you gamers out there are maybe used to a lot of games that maybe uh take you by the hand um tell you exactly what you need to do from moment to moment this one you need to explore. You need to find out things yourself. There are ways for you to be able to figure out how to get from point A to point B, but it's a lot more challenging than most of the other games that are out there. Very rewarding, so much to it, and as mentioned in my review, it definitely lends to the imagination. You do get information on the story, but it's in pieces. And I don't know, just the story is told in a very unique way special way. Highly recommend guys Bloodborne for the PS4. If you enjoyed this video definitely click on that thumbs up button. If you dislike this video definitely click on the thumbs down button. As always thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.